Hi everyone. I uh, I hope you all are doing very safe and very actively participating in all the different uh, competitions in all the different participations that you're having in terms of your academics as well as uh, the different quizzes that you must be participating I'm sure about so I am Saurabh Banerjee I have done my uh, engineering from Jadavpur University and I have also done my management from uh, uh, I am Indore and currently I'm having around uh, 13 years of experience in the corporate industry post that right so uh, you must be wondering that why i am here and why and what is that story or what is the message that i want to convey to you is that so to be very frank i am neither a student as you can currently see nor i am a teacher nor i am a guardian of any uh, school going student so you must be surprised that what is it that i am here for right uh, so during this 13 years post my um, academics i have been actively not actively but yeah i mean whenever i get time uh, during my spare uh, time after doing the job i try to find some time doing some mathematical puzzles or uh, doing some scientific research on my own by scientific research is it may be like stargazing the sky right so if you remember over the last two years there has been enormous amount of uh, i mean stargazing that is possible through the naked eyes like jupiter saturn uh, venus mars all i mean coming on the opposition and and it's 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 wonderful to i mean utilize this uh, i mean beautiful time to capture the moments right uh, so children i i think that you you since you are either in class 8 or 9 or 10th or 11th or 12th then if you are pursuing mathematics or science as a subject uh, one message that i would like to convey to you is that try to uh, understand the fun and try to understand the rational behind each and everything that you are studying right don't just study just to get marks or uh, doing well in the subject of course that matters but finally what matters the most is the 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 inner hunger and the curiosity to know something out of it right so ask relevant questions don't just get convinced by some of the definition which are written in the books or uh, don't get just uh, don't agree upon the fact which you don't agree right ask pertinent questions to yourself for example uh, uh, um, let me take an example so you you must be knowing the logarithm right so logarithm is a very important concept which is taught in maths in the school so we know that log of an argument uh, uh, to, to, uh, to its base uh, we know the definition the log of a base b uh, where a is a positive uh, uh, quantity right so why a is positive in the definition it's all it's it's it's, it's written in the books that a and b should be positive and uh, that is how the different fundamental laws uh, follow so uh, try to understand that why a is positive why a is not negative for example log of minus a to the base minus 2 that will give you 3 right if you go by the definition but that is not defined why that is not defined try to ask these questions to yourselves don't get uh, totally agreed upon something because it is it is written in the books right so until and unless you are asking those relevant questions to your own knowledge you will not get the fun element out of it and once and uh, and once you get that fun element i think that's the best part that uh, that can happen to you be it olympiad be je be it any competition you will be able to track that to the fullest i am damn sure about that right so uh, coming to the context i so while solving different type of problems uh, i try solving the different uh, problems of mathematical olympiad or je or isi and and i must acknowledge that i am not able to solve all of them right so i have to search for the internet and then when i got to know about the vedanta olympiad school uh, through the youtube channel which uh, i mean i i specially follow the mathematics section which is taken by uh, chetan sir lohit sir and abhay mahajan sir and i must acknowledge that the way the concepts are taught by all these faculties i mean they are marvelous so i can give you an example also i was just uh, watching some of the series of the rmo flashback and the inmo uh, concepts by uh, chetan sir the way he explains each and every aspects of the different type of mathematical problems why should we take that approach and why we shouldn't take the different approach so instead of directly jumping into the solution he always tries to uh, make the student understand what is the step that has to be followed and why it has to be followed right because as you know a problem that you are seeing in an exam will not be ever encountering that problem ever in your life maybe but if you know the concept and if you are able to understand the direction from which the problem is attacked that's how you you, you will be able to solve those problems so i really like the way jetan sir 
tries to uh, encapsulate the different ideas through the mathematical examples right even abhay mahajan says i have followed the series of uh, beyond textbook in the youtube channel there is a, a library of some videos so i really like the videos on the diophantine equations and the other identical uh, uh, videos which are really i mean very very much helpful even lohit sir's uh, the 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 inmo classes as well as the uh, pre rmo flashback those are very very nice to i mean experience i i really enjoyed all of them right so please please and please uh, uh, enjoy the journey that's what i want to say right don't try to cover so that i want to solve x number of problems in x number of days yeah obviously that should be your target but your first target should be to understand the concept and to uh, understand the rational that why this problem is getting solved in that way only then you will be able to arouse your curiosity and you'll be able to uh, build up the thought process uh, uh, around the different solutions right uh as you might be knowing i was also uh, going to some of the uh, videos of the great uh, carl sagan and in one of the cosmos series i somehow recollect that uh, where he mentions that if we consider that the universe is formed since big billion which is around 13.5 to 14 billion years ago and uh, we know the existence of human civilization is only some thousands of years right so if you try to plot this uh, existence of human civilization with respect to the age of the universe uh in a calendar of say 365 days where the 1st of january is the day when the big bang big bang is formed then the existence of human civilization falls only in the last few seconds of 31st december of that calendar year right i mean if you scale the entire uh, time frame so uh, the point which i want to make is that you know that we human beings we are having this rational power of thinking and uh, uh, since we are having this gift why can't we utilize that gift to the fullest to understand the beauty of this enigmatic universe which is around us right there are planets galaxies so many stars we don't know the how much is there uh, in the observable or the in or the uh, part of the universe which is not beyond what we are able to see it right uh, it's it's marvelous and i think maths and science is the best way to understand the language of the universe there cannot be any other better way to understand the notion and the way it is right now i mean try to ask those questions to you only then you will be able to get the fun and uh, the logic out of it that is how the great mathematicians and the scientists like uh, i mean aryabhatta uh, we have uh, isaac newton we have gauss we have euler euclid leibniz they all have started their journey by asking the relevant questions uh, Uh, to themselves the great shrinivas uh, ramanujan from our own country right and i am sure that you must be having the same potential uh, within yourselves uh, to unravel the mysteries of this universe so children please please uh, uh, i mean gear up for the next uh, uh, stage of the preparation and i think that uh, you are having plenty and plenty of opportunities don't think that if we are not able to perform